Yo, what is up everyone? It's your boy Out of Order and um, I'm back with the tutorial series guys because I don't know, I feel like I haven't been making enough tutorials recently and a lot of you guys really like the tutorials. So yeah, I thought let's bring it back, but this time it's not an editing tutorial. This is going to be a designing tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an AVI or an EVI or avatar or profile picture, whatever the hell people call them. I just call them AVIs, but yeah, I'm just going to teach you guys how to make an AVI. It's fairly simple. I mean, all you really need is Photoshop and uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to make. So yeah, let's get started. So once Photoshop has opened up, all you really need to do is just find your PSD. If you don't have a PSD, um, I'll probably make a tutorial on how to make a PSD. But yeah, you can just look them up if you if you really want to, but like, you know, just look up Team PSDs and you'll find them pretty much everywhere. But yeah, you're just going to want a PSD. Um, but like I said, if you don't know if you don't know how to make a PSD, I'll make a tutorial on how to make a PSD. But yeah, I'm just going to be taking a PSD from here. So, as you can see, we got Phase, we got Soar, we got L7, rest in peace L7. We got synergy and obey and just just all the good stuff, all right? Era's not here because Era fucking died, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So yeah, I guess I'll just go with Soar. So let's just open up the Soar PSD. And yeah, so as you can see, we got the Soar PSD here, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make an AVI out of this. So yeah, so so the first thing I like to do is to find um like a background or something like what you want to do. So I'm just gonna be um going with a theme here so what's a good theme we could go for i can't really think of anything right now since i'm pretty out of ideas so let's just go with another aesthetic theme or i think that's how you pronounce it what? aesthetic i don't know yeah let's just go with that right let's just go with another one of those themes so i'm just gonna find maybe like a purple background or something all right so i found the background i want you're just gonna want to copy and paste it in here so yeah you can put this underneath the black personally i think the black is too strong here so Let's just change this to like 20 or 13. Yeah, let's go with 14 actually. Yeah, so yeah, you're just gonna want to plop your background in on the bottom of it. So once your background's on, you just wanna make sure like it fits all the way, you know? Just don't stretch it out or like compress it too much or else people will notice it. So yeah, once you plop your background in on here, you're just gonna wanna kind of just add stuff to it, you know? But like don't add, don't go crazy on the overlays because that's the number one thing I see with most avies is people, they go crazy with the overlays and you can totally tell that they just, they just use an overlay, you know? So yeah, just don't, don't do that. So yeah, let's just find some pictures to put in here, you know, just some stuff to make it look nice. All right, so I downloaded a picture that I want to put on here. It's just a basic cherry blossom tree. I think it's kind of basic, but eh, you know, who really cares? So you're just going to want to plop it in on here. Make sure it's like wherever you want it. And then you're just going to want to drag it up to the top for now. And you can go to edit, free transform. And then once you're here, you can just drag it around and like position it and whatever. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to right click duplicate where get a copy of it and then I'm just gonna take this one flip it horizontally and then maybe I'll just drag it down below somewhere actually I kind of want it to go up here so yeah let me just plop it over here and then you're just gonna want to click here or click up here or press enter and it should plop it down there and yeah we got our basic cherry blossom trees there now what I like to do now is I like to select both layers merge them together and then we can go up here to blur and then you can do a lens blur, but I'll just do a normal Gaussian blur. And like this, because these aren't, this isn't supposed to be in focus. We want the logo to be in focus. So yeah, we're just going to put that right there. And I think that looks nice so far. And remember guys, you can make this however you want. This doesn't have to be like an aesthetic theme. You know, you can do any kind of theme you want. You can make a space theme and like freaking paste up here like stars or something or you can make like a freaking like maybe i don't know like a night theme or an ocean theme but yeah i'm just gonna go with this theme so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna add some more pictures to the little foreground so let's just put like a planet here okay i think it looks nice right there so i'm just gonna go back up to filter blur and then motion blur a little bit kind of make it look like it's like flying around it you know don't go too overboard on the motion blur, just like a little subtle one like that would look nice. 
And then you're just gonna wanna repeat this. You're just gonna wanna keep adding like layers and pictures and stuff on it. So I'm just gonna add another one here. Let me drag it below the cherry blossom layer. And let me blur it a little bit. I can also right click on it, go to blending options, drop shadow, change this to black. And then maybe add, de maybe lower the distance a little, uh, decrease the size, and then change the blending mode to like soft light maybe. And there we go, we got, we got a subtle little shadow just chilling there. Same thing again, you're just gonna wanna keep doing this basically. Just keep adding pictures on pictures and pictures in here. So I'm gonna add this picture, but I want this to be underneath the logo, so we're gonna put it there. And I think I don't need a board or anything. I kind of like it like that, actually. Let me duplicate the layer, free transform. You can also press Control T to the free transform, I believe. And we'll just put it right here. Except this doesn't really blend that well since like this is more purple. And so what we can do is we can go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. And just change the hue, make it look blended more like that. There we go. And yeah, we're pretty much just going to keep doing this, guys. Just keep adding pictures and pictures and we'll, we'll, we'll blend it out and everything, make it look nice. So let me just put an alien over here. Another cool thing I like to do is I like to, if I'm trying to make a glow, I'll paste the image. So the alien, duplicate the layer, I'll add a Gaussian board on it just a little bit. And that kind of makes it glow, but that's not what we're looking for. Then I'll select the top layer, which is the glow layer. Uh, change the blending mode to screen. And there we go. We got a, basically a better glow. And you can hold Alt on your keyboard and scroll with the mouse wheel to zoom in. But yeah, that's what I like to do. And then I'll just kind of... And so yeah, that's basically just how you do a glow. Now I'm just going to add some more stuff on the background. Let me just drag this below the little black thing. And then maybe I can glow, not glow, blur this a little bit like that maybe. Change the um, blending mode by select, clicking on this and then just scrolling with the mouse wheel. Until we get something that looks cool. That kind of looks cool. So yeah, I think this looks good so far, honestly guys. We're just going to keep adding more images and stuff, so like... You put this right here and I don't really like the way this looks so let's select both of these this one and this one merge the two and then maybe we can go to image adjustments brightness and then just brighten it up and increase the contrast a little we can also change the blending mode too by selecting here and scrolling with the mouse wheel again so I kind of like this right here I think this looks nice and yeah that's basically I think we're done with it now here comes the fun part so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the little logo and the text so just select your text layer over here and then just hit ok and you're just gonna want to change it to whatever I'm just gonna call this uh, template and then yeah you can just change the font to whatever and uh, let me look for one I think this font right here looks nice so we're gonna use this one and just select your text layer if it's too big free transform hold shift and then just scale it like this and let's just put it right there in the center so yeah I think this looks good so far now we're at the very last part so the last thing you're gonna want to do is from black to all the all the stuff right here so the, basically all the background stuff and everything you're just gonna want to select all of these stuff and then just merge the layers all right so that's basically the background all of the background next up what you're going to want to do is delete official we won't want really to be needing it anymore well we would we never really needed it in the first place and so once you get the little black thing or the little background you're just going to want to select it duplicate twice so one and two and so now you're just going to want to drag one above logo and one above 3d and you're going to want to select the top one that's above logo, click create clipping mask. And you're going to want to do the same here. You're going to want to select the one above 3D and create clipping mask. Now you're going to want to select the logo, click this little drop down here and disable color overlay. And there you go, you got your little AVI. Now the next thing I like to do is I like to merge logo and the thing above it. 
and I like to merge um, 3D and the thing above it. So now we got now we got two things basically. We got this thing here on top of it and this one here below it. Now I like to select the top one right here. Go to adjustments, brightness, and contrast. Brighten this up like that maybe. And then I like to select the one below it and also brighten it up. I also like to increase the contrast a little. And you can do the same with text too. You can duplicate the bottom layer again and you can do it with text too. You can create clipping mask above the text and boom, there you go. Your text also looks like that. Then you can merge the layers again. First you probably need to raster size it. Then you can merge the layers. Once you do that, just go to adjustments and brighten it up. And boom, that is how you make an AVI. But we're not done quite yet. You can add some more overlays. So I just downloaded a basic picture of smoke. I'm just gonna copy and paste it in here. And let me move it above all this stuff up here. And let's just resize it. And I'm, this is how you make smoke into your AVI. So we're just gonna resize it there. I like it there. You're just gonna wanna change the uh, blending mode to screen. And boom, you got some smoke right there. Except first, before we do that, I'm going to change it back to normal. And then let's just click here, blending options, color overlay, and make sure it's set to soft light or color. I think color works too, but I'm just going to do soft light. So, or overlay, pretty much anything will work. And you're just going to want to do that. And we're going to change the color of the smoke. So, so I think this looks good right here. I don't want it to be too pink, but if you want it like that, you can have it like that. But I'm gonna do it something like this maybe, and then we're gonna go back here. We're gonna click on this raster size layer style. And now the thing's pink for sure. And you're just gonna wanna change it to screen overlay. And yeah, there you go, you guys got smoke now. You can also go to adjustments up here and darken it a little bit with the brightness, increase the contrast, and boom, it's a little more subtle. So for most people, they would say, all right, this looks good enough. I'm going to set this as my AVI and we're done. But nah, nah, this is nah. We're not going to end it just here. So now this is another thing I like to do. What I like to do now is I like to select all the layers, every single layer, duplicate them. And once duplicated, I'm going to hit merge. So basically we got our, we, we basically just made a copy of everything and merged it into one layer. And once we do that, all we're gonna do now is just save it as an image. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Make sure you save it as a JPEG right here. And you can just call this whatever. I'm just gonna call this, yeah, we're just gonna call it that. And then just make sure all your settings look like mine on screen here. And then click okay. Now you're probably wondering why did we just save it basically and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a plugin you, this part's completely optional all right if you like it like this if you like it the way it is then set it as your avi because you're pretty much done but if you want to color correct it this is what you're gonna do you're gonna need a plugin so you're gonna need the plugin magic bullet photo looks and if you don't know how to get it there's plenty of tutorials online on how to get it but you're just you're just gonna want to get this plugin and open up photo looks Okay, so now that photo looks is opened up finally, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go to open image file and you're just going to want to look for the image that we just saved. So here it is right here. I just called it basically that. We're just going to open it up. And there we go. Now we got our thing here. Now I already have a template made for this, which is this one right here. This is my magic bullet looks template that I pretty much just use for everything. You guys won't have this template, but I'm, don't worry guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this template. So this is what the template looks like, as you guys can see, it's pretty cool, I mean, it, it sharpens it, it adds a glow to it, it adds some flares, and just a whole bunch of other stuff, but yeah, you guys won't have this, but don't worry, I'm going to teach you guys how to make it right now. So let's just delete all of this stuff. So this is what your, your AVI should look like so far, the first thing you're going to want to do is add some pop and this stuff basically just sharpens it so let's just increase this to like maybe 33 percent 
And after that, you're gonna wanna add some diffusion. This is like my, my go-to effect. I absolutely love this thing. So once you add diffusion, you're going to wanna go to highlight bias and you're just gonna wanna decrease that a little. Once it's decreased, you're gonna wanna mess with the size. So let's just put it like that maybe. You can increase the grade too if you want or lower the grade, I don't know. I'll keep it like at two. And you're just gonna wanna play with the size, all right? Just play with it a little bit until you get something cool like that. And so once you get your diffusion all set up, next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your lens settings and you're gonna wanna add haze slash flare. And I usually like mine at blue. I don't know why, I think blue just looks good no matter what, so let's just put it to blue. And you're gonna wanna mess with the spillage. Mm, not too much, but not too little. Same with softness, I like to increase my softness a lot. Reach, I also like to increase and decrease. Just play all around with these settings until you get something cool that you like. So I think this looks cool. Maybe decrease the spillage a little bit. And yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. And also another thing you're gonna wanna add is edge softness. And you're just gonna wanna decrease the border size and increase the spread a little. And this will just border the edges basically. It's just a basic border effect. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is maybe add some anamorphic flares. These stuff you gotta be really careful with cause it can really screw up your thing, all right? It can make it look either really good or really terrible. So this is what you wanna do. Just make sure you have it set to like white or whatever. And so once you do that, you're just gonna wanna mess around with the size settings and mess around with the boost settings, all right? And also same with threshold, mess around with threshold. Like you can have more of them or less of them. I personally like less of them like that. And yeah, that's basically just the anamorphic flares. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to post flares. We don't really need to mess around with camera. I mean, if you wanna add some of these effects, you can. I personally don't really like any of these, but yeah. So in post, you're just gonna look for curves. And here's what I like to do. I like to darken the dark parts and increase the light parts like that. And so that'll basically just add some contrast to it. And the last effect we will probably be adding is the chromatic ab ab abortion? abortion, I don't know. Just this effect right here. This is this is something you want, all right? Um, I always go negative. I don't like going positive because if you go positive, it looks weird in my opinion. So I go negative and you're just going to mess around with these settings, all right? This is basically RGB splitting, all right? So you can change how you want your RGB splitting to look. Uh, I feel like that looks weird, so let's just decrease the cyan thing. And I think that looks cool. I mean, you guys can notice it on the text right there. I think it looks pretty sweet. But yeah, this is basically just RGB splitting. Okay, so we pretty much just recreated an entire template. This is what it looks without it. And this is what it looks with the color correction. So yeah, it's a pretty big difference. Actually, let me increase the size a little bit. Like that. And there we go. I think we're all done, guys. I, I'm personally I, I'm personally a really big fan of this. I think it looks so much better without it. But if you don't have the plug-in, no worries. It'll still look pretty kick-ass. So yeah, once you're done with your thing, all you gotta do now is just go to File, and then Save Image As. And we're just gonna call this something like, no, I don't know. Okay, so it has finished saving, and another thing you guys can do is you guys can go to File, Export Look As, and this will basically just save a template so you don't have to do any of this stuff anymore. Um, I already did this, so I don't have to, but for you guys, if you guys don't want to have to go through all these steps again, just click on Export Look As and then call it whatever. Alright, so now that our thing's saved, we can just exit out of Magic Bullet Looks, and we're just gonna find our little export. So let me look for it right now. So I found it on my desktop, nut. And we're just gonna plop it on top here. And yeah, I think we're pretty much done. You guys can save this, do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm personally gonna add some more effects and these are the stuff I like to add. So let me raster size this, duplicate the layer. And this is just my personal thing I like adding, but I like adding a pattern overlay. And 
this first pattern right here. So this is the one I like to use. Uh, make sure blending modes multiply. And you're just going to want to mess around with the size and the opacity. And this is basically just like a little, like an overlay effect. So yeah, mess around with these settings. I'm going to decrease the opacity. I think that looks nice, but here's what we're going to do now. We're going to want to go to fill turn off the fill completely all right just just get rid of the fill just just yeet it out of here we won't need anymore and now you can just start erasing the parts that you don't want to have that line thingy so like for an example i want the logo to look normal same with the text i want the text to look normal and yeah basically just just add some lines around the whole thing so yeah it looks pretty sweet and lastly the last thing we're gonna do is just merge these two things right here and we're gonna go up here to blending options again, inner shadow, make this thing white, make it color dodge, and you're just gonna you're just gonna wanna play with these settings, right? This this thing basically just adds this thing basically just adds a glow on the border. See like this is what it looks without it, this is what it looks with it. Yeah, just the basic glow effect. I think it looks pretty sweet. And yeah, guys, that's how you make an Avi. Sorry if that was a long tutorial. But yeah, I think it looks pretty sweet, dudes. I mean, you got the logo there, you you got your name there, you got all this stuff in the background and everything. I think it looks dope as hell. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put this whole project file in the description for you guys to download. So if you guys wanna, you know, just download this thing right here, you guys can mess around with some of the stuff I did. You know, you can mess around with everything pretty much. And yeah, this will be in the description. So make sure you guys go download this. You know, you can follow along and everything. And yeah, dudes, that's the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Um, I'm going to make some more design tutorials in the future. But yeah, that's how you make an av, you guys. Super simple. But yeah, leave a like, and I'm out, dudes. Later, man.